and any modifications and variations, please use them. So we're gonna come onto our backs for the first few moments. You can keep the feet flat or bring the feet together with the knees out wide. And we're gonna close down the eyes and just coming into the breath. So breathing in for four, three, two, one. And all the way out, one, two, three, four. And as you breathe in, just bring your awareness into how you're feeling in this moment. So if there's any aches or pains, just being a bit kind to yourself. Just a nice mindful flow all the way in, all the way out. And just notice as we inhale, that belly rises and presses into the hand. And as we exhale, drawing back down. Just move your attention to the ribs now. You can take your hands there and also towards the back of the ribs, that lumbar spine area. And as you breathe in, just feel that space as the ribcage expands and presses into the hands and as we exhale, drawing back in. Inhale, exhale. We're just going to move our awareness to the chest and the shoulders now. So you can take the hands there if that's comfortable. And as you inhale, feel that chest and the heart lift. Shoulders rotate away from the midline. And as you exhale, gently drawing back in. Just going to let someone else into the class. So we're going to inhale to lift. Exhale, to lower. Inhale. Exhale. And just see if there's any part of the body that's feeling a bit achy today. Maybe breathe in a little bit towards those bits. Just being aware of how your mind is feeling as well. If you've got any tension, any anxiety, maybe try to release some of it on the exhale. Just take a couple more breaths out. And when you're ready, just move your awareness away as if you're looking down at yourself. And as you breathe in, see if you can cultivate a sense of breathing in through the whole body and breathing out through the whole body. The breath is so important in our yoga practice and our daily lives. And I've noticed, you know, working from home, there's that tendency to stay seated for longer. Just be taking care of the spine and any sort of compression, so breathing into it. Let's take a nice big inhale together. And exhale to release. And slowly on the next inhale, bring the knees in towards each other. So just be careful of the hips, they've been out for a while. Draw each knee into the chest one by one. Give yourself a nice little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. Just massaging that lower back, just noticing how it feels. And we're going to come to stillness and we're going to inhale as we bring the forehead to the knees, knees to the forehead. Exhale, two release. Inhale, take the arms up, shoot the fingers away. Exhale, two release. Two more times. Engage the core as well. Nice and control. One more. And release. And we're going to inhale as we open and stretch. You can hover here and start engaging the abs and draw it in. 
and open and draw it in. Let's take two more. And just hug it in. I'm going to bring the hand on the kneecaps and just take our big butterfly circles in the act. So we're just opening out the knees and the hips here. So just take care. Slowly come back to center. Take a couple of breaths. And just take the circles in the opposite direction. Slowly coming back to center. Nice little hug and a squeeze. I'm going to gently bring the feet to the mat. So just check you can brush the heels with the fingertips, arms by the side, and we're going to inhale as we lift up into our bridge pose. So we're just going to hold it here for a little bit longer. So engage in the core here, working into the quads and pressing the feet into the back. I'm trying to get a nice lift here. Support with the hands if you need to. And just gently engage those adductor muscles, so the inner thigh muscles. Just a nice little bit of engagement there. And exhale to release. I'm going to work into the abs a little bit for a few moments. So we're going to lift the legs up as if you're pressing the feet towards the sky or the ceiling, bringing the toes towards the face. And we're flexing the feet, working into the backs of the legs. We're going to point and flex. Take a few deep breathing. Feel free to curl the toes and get them all involved as well. And just take a few rotations in both directions. And just before we start the out, we're going to just slowly bring the legs out wide. So you can rotate the ankles as you do that. Maybe use the hands for a bit of support. Just taking care of that thigh and groin area. Just breathe in. Breathe out. We'll bring the legs together and open. If you want to go a little bit further, you can pistol grip the hands and lift the chest and lower as you bring the legs together. And lift. And low. Just work through a few of these with your own breath. And slowly come back and just squeeze the knees in and just a quick little hug here and a gentle rock from side to side. Now we're going to lift those legs back up, bring the arms to the side. Now we're going to just work into the abs a bit more. So we're going to take our leg raises, so slowly lower the legs towards the mat. Inhale to the Now if you have a block, you can place a block between the legs just to make it a little bit more challenging. You might find that that helps to encourage that ab engagement. And you can put your hands on your abs if you want to check they're working. It's a good little work there for me, so it might work for you. Just take it over to the left. So we're working into the obliques and over to the right. So be careful when you do the obliques. You're not leaning too much on the arms. You're not falling into it. Try and keep that control. Engage the abs. Go back to center. So just take a few more in all three directions. Again, abs exercises are really crucial, especially now working from home, because they really help protect the back. 
and encourage that posture that's better for us overall. And just take one more, wherever you are, and slowly come back. So just bring the feet onto the mat. Take a couple of rest breaths. And we're going to work a little bit more. So we're going to tilt that pelvis towards the belly. Feel that lumbar spine pressing into the mat. We're going to bring the knees up. And just have the legs at a 90 degree angle. And we're going to go take it to the right, take it to the left. And you can lift the chest, chest off if you want to work a little bit deeper. But just take care of the neck. You can support it with the hands. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. And release and come back to center, hug it in. Bringing the feet back onto the mat. I'm going to bring the arms by the side. We're going to inhale as we lift up into our bridge pose. If you want to try lifting a leg up, then you can do that. But if you find that you're dipping in the hips, so just engage that core and get that lift back. So we're doing these poses with honesty and release. And you can take the other leg up as well. And release. Nice deep inhale. Exhale to release. I'm going to take a little bit more on the abs. So we're going to tilt that pelvis again. And this time we're going to shoot the legs straight out, lift the chest off. And if you find that that lumbar spine is lifted, then just press it in. You'll find that that engages the abs a little bit more. And let's hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now we're going to take that two more times. You can add any variations that you want that are safe. So you can float the legs, you can cycle the legs. I find cycling the legs is quite good if you want to work into the oblique. So you can take it out from side to side. Or you can leave the feet on the mat, lift the chest, your choice. So just take a couple more breaths. I'm going to set it up again. So tilt that pelvis and inhale and lift off your choice. And let's keep it here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And just hug it in. Take a couple more breaths. I'm going to take that one last time. So we're nearly done with the abs. So tilt that pelvis again. So remember, feel that lumbar spine pressing into the mat. Feel that dip in the belly. Inhale and lift off. So your choice. Or you can take the arms overhead if you want. Take a lot of opposite elbows. Let's have a little go. Let's hold it here for five, four, three, two, one and release and just hug it in. Bring the feet onto the mat. Take a couple of nice big breaths. I'm going to bring the arms out to the side. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, lift the hips and turn yourself over to the left. So coming into our side twist. Bring that left hand if you want to. Go deeper by pressing into that right thigh. Your choice. And see if you can visualize that right shoulder blade drawing towards the mat. And just take the gaze wherever it's comfortable. Just notice any difference with each breath. 
slowly coming back on the next inhale. Just take a moment, see how it feels. Bringing the arms out to the side, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, lift the hips, turn it over to the right this time. Just be mindful, it might be very different on one side. And we're going to breathe into that left side body here. Remember, we're drawing that left shoulder blade towards the mat. Slowly coming up on the next inhale. Just take a moment here. Just notice how you're feeling. We're going to draw the knees into the chest. Now we're going to come onto our front in just a moment. We're going to do our counter pose, our up dog. So we're going to inhale as we open the body up. You can flat onto the mat. And in your own time, just roll over onto your front. Just adjust yourself, put yourself back. Onto the mat if you need to. You're going to bring the hands near the shoulders, press the tops of the feet into the mat, and as you inhale, bring yourself up into your up dog. So, this is a really good counter pose for when you've been working through the abs for a few moments. So just breathing, and we'll stay here for a few more breaths. When you're ready, just tuck the toes under and bring yourself into your tabletop position. So make any adjustments. Hands spread out nice and wide. Wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. And let's take our cat-cow breath. So we're going to inhale, you dip the pelvis, draw the belly towards the mat, shoulders in towards each other, gaze comes up. Exhale, reverse that motion, draw the belly up towards the sky, round the shoulder blades, gaze comes down. So just take a few more. Try to envisage that fluidity in the spine. So it should feel quite nice. Take your time, work the breath. And when you're ready, just slowly come back to your neutral spine. And we're going to take that left leg out, just press the toes into the mat away from you. And as you inhale, just lift that left arm up, coming into a nice little twist over towards the left. And coming back, bring that leg back. And we're going to take the right, take the right toes out, lift the right arm up this time. Nice little twist and coming back down. Now we're going to come into that left side again. And this time just create a bit more stability with that right knee. And we're just going to try another little movement here. As you inhale, we're going to bring that left knee to the elbow and open. Keep it lifted. And we're going to take one more and hold and release. And just bring yourself back. I'm going to come through to the other side. So bring that right foot out. Adjust that left knee. So you might want to bring it a little bit more central. Come up for your twist. And we're going to bring that knee to the elbow. Open. And release and come back to center. And we're going to work into <coughs> the shoulders and the upper body a little bit. So we're going to come into our dolphin push ups. Remember, you don't have to do this. You can come into child's pose or you can stay in your dolphin dog. But you're going to bring the forearms to the mat. Take hold of opposite elbows. Check that your shoulder distance apart. Take hold of the hands at the top of the mat. Clasp them. 
and we're going to inhale as we lift the hips up, coming into our dolphin dog. So you might want to stay here, and that's absolutely fine. If you want to go a little bit further, you can come into your dolphin push-up. So kiss the mat in front and lift. You can take this as far as you want. So when you kiss the mat, you can almost come into your dolphin plank and lift all the way up. So just take any variation. This should feel quite nice in the shoulders, strengthening the upper body. And just take two more. Come back into your dolphin dog and slowly drop the knees. And we're just going to come into child's pose just for a short while. You can bring the arms behind you if you want. <coughs> you can bring the knees together. It's your choice. When you're ready, slowly bring yourself to your kneeling position. We're going to tuck the toes under and just sit back on the heels. And we're going to inhale as we lift the arms up, take the gaze up. Exhale to lower. We're going to inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Remember, you can untuck the toes at any time if it's a little bit painful. And lower. Just take a few shoulder rolls in both directions. Nice, and we're going to bring the hands to the front and just bring the tops of the feet as you draw the knees in towards the chest. So we're just having a nice little counter pose on the feet. And when you're ready, bring yourself in to your downward facing dog. So pedal the feet, bend the knees if you need to. Remember to outwardly rotate the upper arms so we're drawing the shoulders away from each other. Pressing the hands into the mat. As you inhale, lift the heels. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to take three lion's breaths here. Take one more inhale, and as you exhale, take the gaze between the hands, and we're going to walk the feet to the hands. So just come to the top of the mat. I'm going to come into our right dog pose for a few moments. So just shake it out, swing it out. You can shake the head and nod the head. And remember to bend the knees if there's any discomfort. So just take care of the body. When it comes to stillness, and take the hands wherever they reach, the big toes, the mats, the shins, the knees, the thighs, and as you inhale, lift up, straighten the arms, exhale to lower. Just take a few in your own breath. Really feel that breath all the way through the body, mainly sort of especially on the back and the back of the legs. Feel it all the way through the spine. Nice big inhale. Exhale. And slowly when you're ready, start bringing yourself all the way up. Bring the arms up, reach the fingers towards the sky, come onto the tiptoes and release. And just take a few shoulder rolls as you slowly bring your feet into your tadasana. So you can bring them together or keep them apart. Lift the toes up to have a look at your feet, spread the toes out as you bring them back to the mat. Shoulders away from the ears.
feel free to start engaging that jai breath if it's in your practice. So remember, we have that slight constriction at the back of the throat. Let's take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold forward from the hips. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we step back into plank pose. Hold it here nice and strong. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, let's lower it down. Elbows in towards the ribs. Inhale as you open the heart. So be careful when you're lowering into chaturanga. It can be quite hard on the shoulders. Let's come back into downward facing dog. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, gaze between the hands. Step or walk, feet to hands. We're going to inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise through the start of them. Exhale, Dasana. Gonna inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we step back into our plank pose. Gonna take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna lower it down. So elbows in. Float that chest forward as you lift up. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Coming into downward facing dog. Let's take a deep inhale. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gaze between the hands. Step or walk, feet to hands. We're going to inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, Hastasana. Exhale, come into Tadasana. Take a few shoulder rolls. Both directions. Nice deep inhale. Inhale to up. Exhale as we fold forward from the hips. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we step into the plank. And just check your alignment here. Hands spread out nice and wide. If you're feeling that dip, just engage that core a little bit. As you exhale, lower it down through Chaturanga. So you can drop the knees first. Float that chest forward, but just be careful of the shoulders now. And exhale it back into downward facing dog. We're going to inhale that right leg in the air. Flex that foot, spread the toes. As you exhale, bend the right knee, bring the right foot behind the right hand. And turn that left foot 45 degrees. And we're going to inhale, we lift up into warrior one. So we haven't come into warrior one for a while. So just place the hands on the hips and just check that the hips are facing the front. You need to adjust that left foot or that right foot and do that. Just give it a little bit of space. You want to be hip distance apart roughly with the feet, which is why we bring the right foot behind the right hand. And just going into that front leg, bring the arms up wherever it's comfortable for the shoulders. As you inhale, we're going to twist it over to the right. And back to center, inhale over to the left. Back to center. Let's take it to the right one more time. And let's take it to the left one more time. I'm going to face the hands towards the body and come into your reverse warrior one. And lift. And reverse. And lift. We're going to just step that back foot in just a touch. Then straighten that front leg. 
Bring the hands behind the back. And take a lot of opposite elbows. And we're going to inhale as we open the heart. And as you exhale, come forward into your humble warrior on the inside of that right leg. Slowly come up on the next inhale. And we're going to just bend into that front knee. And we're going to bring the hands to heart center. And we're going to bring that left foot up and come into our warrior three. So don't worry if you wobble out of this. Just have a little go at this transition. You'll find that lifting that left leg up actually helps get that balance. Try to line up the hips, shoot the arms ahead of you. And when you're ready, we're going to bend into that right knee and we're going to frame that foot and just drop that left leg back. Bring the right leg out into your three-legged plank and we're going to lower it down through Chaturanga. So gently drop that right foot, untuck the left toes, upward dog. And downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, gaze between the hands, step, walk, or float, feet to hands. So if you're going to have a go floating, bend the knees, lift the hips, coming to the front. Inhale as we lift and lengthen, exhale to fold. And we're going to inhale as we lift all the way up to Tadasana, Pastasana, sorry. And exhale, come back into Tadasana. Let's take a few shoulder rolls here. And inhale to rise. Exhale as you fold forward from the hips, coming towards the mat. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we step back into plank pose. Now press those hands into the mat. Nice big inhale. Exhale as we lower it down. Elbows in. Inhale to open. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to inhale that left leg in the air this time to so spread that foot out. Exhale as you bend that knee and bring the left foot behind the left hand. And then turn that right foot 45 degrees as we lift up into our warrior one. So check your alignment here. Bring the hands onto the hips if you need to. Try and line up the hips if you can. So you want to square them towards the front of the room. Obviously, if there's anything different that stops you doing that, that's absolutely fine. Just bring the arms. Gonna come. We're going to inhale as we twist it over to the left, back to center, over to the right, back to center, left, and to the right. Just notice what part of your body you're feeling in this pose. You haven't done worry one for quite a while, so just have a think about it. Breathe in. When you're ready, we're going to slowly pop that right foot in a little bit, straighten that front leg. Now you've got the option, you can clasp the hands and shoot them towards the mat. You can take out of opposite elbows, it's your choice. And just open that heart and hinge forward from the hips into your humble warrior. Coming to the inside of the left leg this time. And when you're ready, slowly, slowly coming up, taking care here. It's a bit of a head brush. Just release the hands. We're going to bring them to heart centre. I'm going to bend into that front knee as we bounce that right leg off the mat this time, coming into our warrior three on the other side. Just take your time. 
if you're going to fall out of the right number, that's turning point. There we go. When you're ready, we're going to slowly bend that left knee and we're going to drop the hands, bring the right foot down and come into your three-legged plank. Slowly lower down, gently drop that left leg, untuck the right. And coming into your downward facing dog. I'm going to take three lion's breaths here. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, gaze between the hands, step, walk, or float, feet to hands. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale to box. Inhale to rise through Hastasana. Exhale, let's come back and do the last one. Just take a few shoulder rolls there. So we need either just a few more poses before we come towards the mat. Bring the hands towards the hips, and we're going to bring the left leg out into our goddess pose. And make sure the feet go away from the midline, and we're going to bend into the hips. So we're coming into a little bit of a squat. Bring the arms to the side, and we're just going to hold it here. I'm going to lift up and we're going to frame that right foot. So just bend into that right knee. We're going to come to the inside of that right leg and come into a little side lunge. So you can lift onto that left heel if you want. So you should feel it in that left leg. And then have it up coming all the way up over to the left. And to the right. One more time over to the left. I'm going to frame that left foot this time. And we're going to shoot back into our three-legged dog. We're putting that left leg in the air. And slowly coming back into your downward facing dog. So you should be facing the other way now. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, take the gaze between the hands. And we're going to step or walk or float feet to hands. We're going to inhale as we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, come back into your Tadasana. Take a few shoulder rolls here. In both directions. So we're going to take dancer pose. So start on whichever side you want. So make sure that the pressing foot is nice and grounded into the mat. I'm going to start with my right leg bent first. I'm going to bring that right leg. Take hold of that right foot in the right hand. And I'm going to inhale as I lift and lengthen through that left side body. And slowly start pivoting forward. Just take your time here. Find a point of focus. Press that right foot into the hand. Try and get that lift. When you've had enough, slowly come up. And if you want to stay there, you can bring that right knee in towards the chest and just hold it there. Keep the arms up. Kind of flex that foot and rotate the ankle in both directions. Slowly release. Just shake it all up. I'm going to come to the other side. So I'm going to press the other foot into the mat. You check your ground and set yourself up. Bring the left foot for me into my left hand. And then my inhale, lift and lengthen to the right. And then pivot forward. And press into that hand. Nice and up. When you're ready, slowly coming up. 
release the hands up towards the sky, bring that knee in towards the chest. Flex and rotate that And I release. Just shake it all out. We're going to bring the feet mat distance apart. We're going to bring the hands to heart center and start coming down into a yogi squat. Stay here for a couple of breaths. When you're ready, just bring in the bum to the mat and slowly, <laughs> excuse me, coming all the way down into your final shavasana. And before you get into it, just squeeze everything all the way from the top to the toes, all the way to the face, and exhale to your knees. When you're ready, you're going to start deepening the breath. Slowly start wriggling the fingers and the toes. I'm going to start rotating the ankles and the wrists in both directions. Just bringing yourself back into the room. We'll bring the legs in towards each other and just bring each knee to the chest one by one. Give yourself a nice little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. And just come into a nice big stretch. Point the toes away, draw the fingers away. Slowly hugging one more time. Just roll out to the side. Just rest with the calf, the breath. And when you're ready, slowly and safely. Bringing yourself up to your cross legged position. So you can try a little lotus pose if you want to. You can bring the hands to rest on the legs or hands to heart center. We're going to end with our three clearing breaths. We're going to breathe in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. I'm going to bring the thumbs up to the third eye. I want to thank you all for joining me on this practice today. I want to thank you all for joining me on trying different poses and different sequences and just bearing with me. So I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate and am proud of all your progress and your support of these yoga classes during the lockdown. I wish you all well. Thank you so much for today's practice.
Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. I hope Sharon. that was okay. Thanks a lot. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next week. Thanks, Sharon. Bye. See you. Take care, everyone.